Hey guys, what's up? It's me, San Francisco. So let's take a break first from reviewing Korean tents, Korean problems. Okay, so focus muna tayo sa local brand. Okay, so recently, nagpadala sa akin ang Vice Cosmetics. This is their newest collection. We have something like this. So this one is their limited edition Power Puff Girls Collection. And this collection, meron tayo para sa eyes, cheeks, and lips. Mi product dito na nareceive ako na talagang nung nakita ko talaga siya, very kabataan feels talaga siya. And I have to say, parang ayoko siyang gamitin. Okay, so later, ishishik ko sa inyo kung bakit. Okay, so yeah, hindi ko na ito papatagalan. If you are interested in this video, just keep on watching. So let's start. Before we start, gusto ko lang share sa inyo yung format ng video na to and kung paano ko i-review ng video na to para at least kung gusto niyo mag-fast forward, eh, mayroon kayong idea kung saan part yung gusto niyo nang malaman. Okay, so first, review muna natin yung lip product, then the cheek product, and then yung eye product. For the lip product, we have something like this. This one is called a Velvet Puff. And ang napansin ko sa kanyang packaging is hindi siya usual. Okay, so ang kanyang packaging is rectangular shape ang kanyang packaging. Okay, so I tried my best to find a similar packaging with this product pero wala talaga akong nakita ang kamukha niya. Okay, so um, in terms siguro sa lapad, meron siyang similar vibes. Like I'll pop some pictures here. At saka dito, ayan, yun yung medyo kaparehas niya. This one is from Pop Beauty and this one is from Spotlight Cosmetics. They may not have like the similar vibe in terms sa shape, pero meron silang similar vibe in terms sa pagkalapad ng product. Ayan. For the concept and appearance of this product, what I like about it is it is really playful, very fun, and it doesn't look cheap. We have three different shades. Okay, so the buttercup shade is called Are You Puff Enough? And then for Blossom, we have Team Awesome. And lastly, the bubble shade. This one is super cute. Now for super cute, it is the mauve shade. And then this Blossom shade, it is the burnt salmon shade. And lastly, for buttercup, the strong shade, it is the brown and rosy tone shade. The applicator looks like this. It's a reservoir tip. It is flexible. And with this kind of applicator, it's easy for you to line and shape your lips. You can also smudge your lipstick with this kind of applicator to achieve a gradient lips effect. This product is very creamy and smooth, just like a mousse. It only looks thick, but it feels very lightweight. And lastly, this product is infused with avocado oil. The product that we're going to talk is their blushing oil. We have something like this. Now, I have to say, out of all the products, in this collection, this is, for me, very gimmicky. They're really going to experiment here. And I feel like very interesting this product. Because it's not a liquid blush. It's not a cream blush. It's a blushing oil. If you love science and makeup, you will like this product. Because this is the class of the color that you can see in the laboratory. Pag nag-experiments, di ba ganun yung packaging na to? Okay, so ang ganda ng concept na to kasi very in line pa rin siya sa Powerpuff Girls. This product has a very cute neon applicator. It is flexible and it is rubber. The product is very liquidy and oily. While swatching the product, you'll notice that it leaves a natural pink stain on the skin. The product I'm going to give my final thoughts because I'm not going to be able to figure out how to use it. So, I don't see the purpose of this product. And honestly, I'm not a fan. So, this is the product that I'm really weird when I saw it and I saw it in the description. I saw it in the description. When I first saw this, I thought it was like a glossy tint, but it's not. It's a blush oil. The product is very oily and liquidy. Imagine putting that oil-based product sa inyong base product. Hindi siya magiging okay. Gagalaw yung base product ninyo. Matatanggal yung coverage niyan. Gagalaw yan. Hindi magiging maganda yung effect. Even without the base product, imagine putting an oil-based product dito sa inyong cheeks. Hindi siya magiging maganda. Medyo magmumukha talaga kayong oily. Kasi bibilan nyo ba? So kakalat yung oil-based sa inyong cheeks and hindi siya maganda dito. Ito yung talaga yung product na talaga na nakita ko. Parang ayaw ko talaga siya maganda. Napakaganda diba? Parang ayaw mong sirain yung uh, design dun sa blush. I love the concept of this product kasi dalawa yung kanya finish. Okay, so first, yung deeper shade na heart. 
yun yung matte na finish and yung light shade naman na heart, yun yung shimmery na finish. Okay? So, pag kinambahan nyo or pag ginamin nyo itong buong blush na to, makaka-achieve kayo ng glowy na finish. Pinito yung itsura ng lid cream na to. Tatlo yung shades niya. Okay? So, si Popples, blue yung shade niya. Si Buttercup, green yung shade niya. And obviously, si Blossom, pink yung shade niya. Itong finish na tong product na to is makaka-achieve daw tayo ng metallic na finish with this Product. Okay, so napakaganda din ng packaging niya. Very, again, fun and playful. And ang gusto ko sa kanya is hindi lang sila Blossom, Buttercup, and Bubbles yung character. Okay, so meron silang parang polka dots na design here. Para siyang Lego. Napakaganda. For the lip cream, the applicator looks like this. It's a doe foot applicator. And compared to the other applicators, this one is very stiff. This product feels very liquidy and lightweight. But after blending, you'll see that the pigment is getting lighter, which means the product is easy to blend. The shade pigment is not patchy and it is really beautiful. Lagi ko na lang lahat ng information sa description box para hindi kayo mahirapan kung gano'n ba kadami yung product, magkano ba yung product. Okay, so last naman na pag-uusapan natin is this lashes. Okay, so hindi ko in-expect na mag-release sila ng lashes dito sa collection na to. Okay, so I'm really sorry din pala kasi hindi ko na ito ma-feature sa video na to. Okay, so hopefully soon na lang pagdating sa mga makeup looks baka ma-feature ko tong product na We have something like this for the eyelid cream and ang ganda ng pigment niya sa eyes. Hindi siya naging patchy and I love the fact na hindi siya harsh, okay? So, I love the finish. Tingnan nyo. Ang ganda niya. And even lahat ng colors. Napakaganda niya. Hindi siya malikit sa eyes. And then, walang transfer na glitter sa akin. Ayusin ko lang hair ko para medyo mas maayos yung view. Anyway, try naman natin maging artistic. Try natin yung bubbles na shape. Something like this for the liner and napansin nyo naman ilang beses akong nag-layer para maka-achieve ng medyo perfect na eyeliner. And kahit nag-layer ako, hindi siya naging patchy. Ayan, nakikita ninyo. Something like this for the velvet pop and I super love the finish. Okay, so it reminds me so much of a Korean velvet lip that is really lightweight, very comfortable. And thanks to this formula, mas madali tayo maka-achieve ng gradient lips or kung gusto yung maka-achieve ng full glam na lip. I totally agree with Vice Cosmetics kasi meron nga itong blurring effect sa lips. Ang ganda niyang ina-apply sa lips. And sa isang dip, sobrang naka-achieve na ako ng magandang coverage sa aking lips. Ngayon, try naman natin siyang patungan. Tingnan natin kung magiging deep ba yung color or magiging mabigat pa siya sa pakiramdam sa lips. There's definitely a change of color. Napansin ko sa kanya, medyo mas naging deep na yung color. Mas naging bold siya. And mas matara yung itsura ko ngayon. Be mindful lang na hindi mabilis mag-set itong product na to. And ang napansin ko sa kanya, kanina nag-swatch ako, is medyo nakahiwala yung oil dun sa pigment. So, paalala ko lang sa inyo na i-shake nyo muna yung product bago nyo siya gamitin para hindi kayo magkaroon ng problema. Meron stain itong product na to and ang nagustuhan ko sa kanya is that the stain is very natural, okay? So, hindi siya intense.
Time for us to try this blush. Okay, so since hindi ko nagustuhan yung blush kanina, ito na lang yung to try natin. Honestly, ayoko talagang gamitin to kasi napakaganda talaga niya. And kabataan feels talaga siya nung nakikita ko siya. Napakaganda talaga. Anyway, try na natin siya. Intense lang yung paglagay ko. Pasensya na kayo kasi nung ina-apply ko, medyo parang nagandahan ako dun sa glow na nabigay niya. Ewan ko kung nakikita ninyo, pero dito kasi sa personal, medyo maganda yung glow na nabibigay niya. Ang ganda niya. I-blend ko lang siya ng maayos para hindi siya ganun ka harsh. Hindi ko in-expect na magugustuhan ko to kasi I thought it's gonna be too light, too medium. Pero hindi, nagko-complement siya sa medium skin to. Nagandahan ako sa kanya. And nagko-complement siya dito sa Burnt Salmon na shade ni Blossom. Napakaganda ng combination na niya. This is really perfect pag summer. Ngayon tinitingnan ko itong blush sa aking face. Ang napansin ko sa kanya is hindi niya ini-emphasize yung aking skin texture dito sa area na to. Kasi meron din akong mga small bumps siya. And dahil dun sa glow usually, pag gumagamit ako ng glowy na products, itong mga bumps na to eh na-enhance niya talaga or na-emphasize niya. Pero for this blush, hindi niya ganun na-emphasize. Gusto niyo ba malaman kung anong ginawa ko para mas intense yung glow niya dito sa aking cheeks? Ang ginawa ko is kumuha ako ng brush na maliit lang tapos pinocus ko yung pigment dito sa alam niyo itong uh, shimmer na to ito. kumuha ko dyan tapos nalagay ko siya dito sa area na to para mas maging glowy or intense yung glow niya dito On to my final thoughts. Okay, so share ko lang sa inyo yung dalawang product talagang nag-work sa akin and nagustuhan ko. Napakaganda ng quality nila and maganda yung kanilang performance. Okay, so ito yung sa lip product, meron tayong Velvet Puff and the eye product which is the Lip Cream. For this one, nagustuhan ko to kasi kanina pa ako nagsasalita and very comfortable pa rin siya sa lips. Meron pa rin siyang blurring effect na vibes in person. Yun yung nagustuhan ko sa kanya. Lightweight pa rin siya and alam nyo, uminom na ako. Ganito yung asura ng straw ko. Ayan yung paper straw. Pero tingnan nyo yung asura ng aking lips. Meron pa rin siyang blurring effect. Maganda siya, okay? Hindi siya dehydrated. Hindi siya naging dry. Okay, so super love the effect. And finish up with this one. The lid cream naman, napakaganda ng performance niya kanina, okay? So ito yung finish niya is kahit matte siya, ito yung very lightweight pa rin sa eyes, okay? Nagustuhan ko yung ganong classic effect nitong product nito. And ang nagustuhan ko sa kanya is kahit meron siyang metallic na finish, hindi siya naging patchy. Pantay-pantay yung mga glitters, pantay-pantay yung pigment sa lids. Hindi ko din pala na-experience yung factor na humihiwala yung pigment at saka yung oil dito sa product na to. So, plus points yun. Okay? So, madali lang siyang gamitin. And, pwedeng-pwede to kung gusto nyo maging artistic sa inyong eye makeup look. Next product is this blush right here. Okay? So, 50-50 ako dito. I'll be honest with you. Nagandahan ako sa itsura niya sa aking face eh. Gusto ko yung effect na nabibigay niya. Okay? So, medyo blow niya siya. Hindi siya talaga dry tignan sa inyong face. Hindi siya powdery tignan sa inyong face. May certain glow ang inyong cheeks. Ang naging problema ko lang talaga dito is yung factor na napaka-pigmented niya. Lastly, this product, ito talaga yung hindi ko marirecommend. And hindi talaga ito nag-work sa akin. I just don't get the purpose of this product, okay? So again, explain ko na sa inyo kanina kung bakit ayoko itong product na ito, okay? That's it! Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy this makeup review. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. See you again next time. Bye! -bye.